you said in, in, the, in the quotes that you were feeling a bit sick today. Can you tell us what was going on with that? Yeah, this is the first time in my career I've ever almost called Dana and said, man, I'm not, uh, I'm not coming to work today. And then I just fucking looked myself in the mirror and said, man, you're not that guy. Just, just go. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the way I fought. I'm very proud of myself, actually, for, uh, for getting in there and fighting. So I'm happy. I don't have any remorse or doubts or upset in any way. I mean, um, I don't think I lost any stock, so <laughs> I'm good. Um, Cowboy, here. Um, throughout the fight, um, you, you, um, it's almost Edwards got a step ahead of you, but the crowd was all over supporting you. But what was the feeling? Oh, it's, it, it feels unbelievable, man, to have the, the crowd shout your name. And even when you lose, just to, to let them feel like you still won, you know? Uh, Asia's always been really good to me. I'm so pumped to to have fought here. And um, like I said, I don't think I lost any stock, man. I, I, I love my job more than anything than you guys could ever imagine, man. Like, I, I love getting in there and fighting. So... Um, Winning and losing is just part of this game, man. Unfortunately, it sucks, you know. I only got half my check, but hey. <laughs> uh, I had fun. I really did. So, a good time. Um, at first, uh, Ed leading up to the fight, Edwards was kind of talking trash to you. And during, was, the, was the fight uh, changed your perspective about him? Oh no, the, the days of me fighting angry are, are long gone. That, that, that doesn't have that, that trick doesn't work on me anymore. So now it's just like, don't, don't be that person. But uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I didn't get mad or fight out of anger or no, nah, I just, he just looked like an ass is all. And one more thing. Um, during, before the weigh-ins, there's a mishap with, with the sauna at the hotel. Um, did it affect, somehow affected you or? Not no, 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 not, not me. Not at all. Thanks so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Leon even said that during the fight, he was talking trash to you, uh, calling you old man and other stuff like that. So, what was happening during the fight? I, I mean, he told me don't run from him, and then the whole fight he ran for me. <laughs> so, but... Uh, yeah, he was trying to just rile me up and talk in the fight, but it didn't. It doesn't work. I don't, I don't fight in anger anymore, so uh, it, didn't, it, just, it is what it is. He did good, man. He went out there for five rounds, and he got the unanimous decision. I mean, that's that's awesome. Congratulations to him, man. Um, I'm still looking to fight two more times this year, so if there's anybody out there that wants to fight Cowboy, the old dog, give me a call, and we can set this up. And you got better as the rounds progressed, faster as the round progressed. Uh, you arguably won the fifth round. The third and fourth were close. So when the uh, decision was read, did you kind of agree with that? They say don't leave it to the judges, man. So I, have no, I can't sit here and say anything. I lost the fight. Uh, Leon, better man tonight. And he, uh, he did his thing. So congratulations. I hope he, I hope he takes off and, and, and does really well in this sport, man. You know, I really do. Um, I'm getting old in this sport, and I love every minute of it, man. But, you know, maybe the new kids are coming in. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But um, there sure are tough guys out there, man. And, and there's not enough people like me that give those young guys a chance, you know. So I'm glad I can be the guy that says, man, I'll fight any of you guys. Come on. Let's have fun. And I literally, I mean, tonight, the smiles on my face are more than you can even imagine, man. I, there's the, the passion I have out there, I love to the core. So um, this, is, this is what I enjoy doing, man. Uh, I have a question about uh, the cut uh, above your eye happened early in the fight. Yeah, like How the first exchange, he banged me with a knee, uh, cracked me right open, but it was good. It was hot blood down the side of my face, and I was like, motherfuck, yes. <laughs> so it like, in like a sick way, kind of like turned me on, like, hell yeah, right, let's go. Um, yeah, it sucked. I got blood in my eye the whole fight, but whatever. And it looks like you're going to have to settle for the next card to make history with your yeah, most wins in the UFC. That's the good thing about... That's, I have so many fights left in me, so it'll, yes. it'll happen next time, next time, next time. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. If tonight was my last fight, I'd be upset. But I, like I said, I have, yeah. I'm going to go until the UFC says, Cowboy, enough, bro. Enough, enough, <laughs> enough. And where do you think that the uh, historic win will come? Colorado, maybe? I, I don't care, man. I'm, I, I would like two more this year. So, um, and at the end of the year, I think they're going to Australia. I'd love to fight in Australia in December. It's summertime over there. I can play on the boat. So, um, 
Yeah, man. Vegas, Vegas, Australia would be cool. Denver would be awesome. Give me three. I don't care. Thank you. You gave an opportunity to Darren Tills, and uh, this is, you're the toughest fight for Leon Edwards in his career. Where do you rank him in terms of these up-and-coming young guns with Darren Till in this division? Yeah, uh, Darren Till, he, he caught me early, man. It was, I, I, don't, I don't really have uh, much to say about him because it was such a quick ass whip, so I don't have much to go off of. But uh, Leon, man, he did great. These new up-and-coming guys, they're... They're, they're so well-rounded, you know, where when I first started, there, you were a striker or you were a wrestler or you were a grappler, and, and now these guys are so traversed, man. It's crazy coming in, and it's, it's awesome, man. I love where the sport's going, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to stay here and keep fighting until they tell me I can't anymore, until the kids just wash me down until I can't. So, um, but this old dog still got a lot in me. I mean, I stood there five rounds and gave it hell, man, and with a smile on my face, so... You fought five hard rounds. What's now for you? Are you sticking around Asia for a little while? No, I'm, I'm home on the first bird. At 5 a.m. is our flight. My, my wife's having a baby, man, so it's time to get home. Like she, She's holding it. We're going to have a C-section as soon as I get home, man. So he's, uh, he's nine and a half pounds right now, and we're like literally I land. We're going to the hospital, and here he comes. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, cowboy. Uh, congrats on the future baby. No, thank you. Um, just want to know what's next for you. Uh, do you plan on going back to lightweight, staying at welterweight, or trying your luck at middleweight? No, definitely not middleweight. I'm like, not that big. I, I, I think they weighed me in on the scale. I was like 78, so I just the weight cut's easy. Uh, I will go lightweight if they call me. Ask, tell me if they want to fight for me at lightweight. Yeah, no problem. Uh, they won't. They'll call me and say we want you at 70, but <laughs> whatever. I feel better up here. It's a funner week. So um, ASAP, man, I'd like to get... I'm the, I'm the near, nearest card I can, you know, six, eight weeks from now, to be nice. How much longer do you plan on fighting for? Oh, man, at least five more years, definitely, at least, until, until I just, literally until the USA says no more. Um, Cowboy, just to elaborate on what you just said, uh, stylistically this fight was very intriguing because it was a good boxer against a good more Thai kickboxer. Uh, you talked about your jiu-jitsu kind of maybe being the difference in the fight. You try to take him down, he's tough to you take down. What did you think about his takedown defense? Yeah, it was really good, and not to mention we had blood all over, so every time I grabbed him, it was just so slick, like I couldn't ever get a good hold. So it was, he negated all the takedowns and um, didn't allow me to work the game that I was trying to work, you know, um, which sucked for me because now I'm sitting here with a loss and not a record-setting win. <laughs> Good evening, Cowboy. Can you elaborate about, you said you were sick. Can you elaborate? Were you having fever? Were you having, what were you, exactly were you? Yeah, just sitting, suffering? throwing up, just feeling, didn't, couldn't get out of bed, man. Just feeling like shit all morning, all day. Just wasn't feeling, just, I wasn't feeling like showing up to work is what I was feeling, man. That's the only way I could tell it. It's the closest I've ever been in my whole career, calling, calling the boss and saying, hey, man, I, I'm not going to fucking make it. And then. I just rolled over about 5 o'clock and looked in the mirror and said, you're not that guy. I said, get up and let's go. And here I am. Uh, Cowboy, one last thing for me. Uh, before the fight, I wanted to ask you this. There's this new Space Force program that's being implemented. A lot of UFC guys have said that they want to join, uh, join that. Do you have any plans of doing that? What is it? The Space Force by Donald Trump. Space Wars? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Space program. Oh, like to go to space? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Sure. Well, if an alien ship landed, I'd go, for sure. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs>